Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, get over, get over here, microphone. Be the thing that your thing to be. It doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's over here. Hey, everybody. We are not stuck with a very big, really big stick today. We, I am Surreal Canine, and this is all the drods. And well, uh, when the stream we are is calm, continuing all the drods. It will not last. <laughs> the classic pessimistic service or nautical trade wisdom it is most definitely not a metaphor. Chapter 2, Breadcrumbs. <coughs> I have not but guesswork and flimsy theory to describe this thing in the pits. Research has proved fruitless, and the only documents that exist in our library to describe something resembling it at length are of a dead and annoying format. Poetry. I think I already made a note of this one. There. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, uh, we got a couple easy rooms in that for now. Uh, yeah, pretty sure... Uh, I'd better hurry up if I want to reach Nethlekemp Pharaohs in time. Yep, that is our goal. We are going to Nethlekemp Pharaohs to stop the turning. I'm doing quite a bit of walking already, though. Alright, so, uh. Goal. Stick the guard onto the, uh, stick the guard onto the, the pressure hey, plate. Keep off the grass. Hey, keep off the grass. You're stuck now. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I see. Oh, my God. 
There we go. Now, uh, wait, no. Okay, hold on. I don't need to get him stuck, actually. I just need to, uh... Off the grass. Wait, really? I could have done that faster. Hey, keep off the grass. See how it's possible to do it in only 81 or 81 instead of 82, but okay. It does, huh? There's Critic again. I guess I am kind of old, but that doesn't make any sense. Possible to uh, pull a mirror the the right way over force arrows, even if you're on the wrong side of it. Good to know. I may have forgotten that particular interaction. 153. I saved some time. Wing, which does not hold down pressure plates. Yeah. 
I saved a lot of time there, but not quite first place. There's the blue door. Did I not step on the... Twenty one. Pretty good. And that's it for the easy way. Interact him dictum. Descript him sublight. Ah, you have my answer. We've all met so in shower revolute potion. The turning is really a turning. A real, actual turning. Of the world. What? How can the world turn? Dictum so that's it, huh? I guess that was what I asked, wasn't it? Okay, time for my next question. Uh, 
Alright, there's still so much to find out. What do you guys want to ask? Uh, there's probably going to be quite a bit of gameplay between uh, here and when we get our answer. I think my first time through, uh, I asked what danger the turning poses. Okay, well, uh, for comparison's sake, Sentinel Proxima, what was the answer, if you remember? The answer to number two is the second sky will become the first, and the first sky will become the second. And I think Pit Thing is supposed to explain that later on. Okay. Uh, let's ask three then. The fourth wilding. Why was the old first archivist replaced? Onward! Icy Underworld. But first, uh, since we have a world map, let's uh, just peek in on the uh, holding vats. See how first chemist is uh, holding up. <laughs> He's not here. Truth vessels are uh, working hard, though. Alright, first chemist doesn't seem to be around. Let's get out of here. Icy Underworld. Look, I'm a miner. I've dealt with noxious fumes, cave-ins, insubordinate behavior, endless, endless darkness, faulty bomb wiring, obscenely creative curses, wayward pickaxe swings, what a dumb tool. But this is something very different. And Crew 15 is probably not going to make it back to report on it. So if you or someone finds this log, please do me a huge favor. Lodge a very strongly worded complaint to the TAR technicians or, or whoever's in charge of making non-sentient stuff sentient. Because we just found a bunch of metal vents that started spewing out some fluffy white stuff. And big surprise, coming into contact kills you. It doesn't just kill you because it's some toxic gas, though. It's like it wants you dead. This little fluffy puff comes for you, despite any contrary airflow. And when it reaches you, your lungs fill up with ice. And that's that. We're trapped in here. We took off our shirts to cover the openings, but we're gonna run out of air. Or freeze. It's only a matter of time before someone breaks and lets the stuff in. Man, the 8th is just the worst place, huh?
All right, we got one secret here. Every five turns, a puff moves toward you. Contact is fatal instantly, and unlike most monsters, Beethro can just walk into it. But, if you get a 2x2 two two box of- oh, Scal is responsible for this. I'm gonna have to have a word with him. <laughs> if you make a 2x2 two two box of puffs, uh, the whole thing turns into fluff. Which is, uh, thankfully a lot more stable. Challenge! Enter from the south and read this scroll without fluff forming in the lower corridor. Okay.
That's not going to help anything. There we go. I love puffs. There aren't any high scores in this room, right? Yeah. All right, vents. Every 30 turns, one of these will release a puff. The puffs actually will uh, drift toward anything that is alive, so uh, we do need to evade them for a while. Jeebus, that puff of gas just destroyed the evil eye over there. I better be careful. It also turned the shallow Although, water into maybe ice. Maybe they could come in handy. Click on a fluff baby to highlight its current target. Anything they can kill. Oh, hold up. Uh, that particular fluff is stuck. They won't target golems, huh? Jeebus, that puff of gas just destroyed the evil eye over there. I better be careful. Hmm. Although, maybe they could come in handy. And then there is the thi the thing at the strange and yet fascinatingly consistent tip of our world. What lies there is under more protection than I could fathom it as reasonable, but we didn't build that in we didn't build that entire mess of traps and vexation vexations. First place tie!
Alright, gotta keep a close eye out for any secret walls. Uh, of course, with the hard ice walls, uh, they will be very easy to spot. Hard walls and uh, secret walls don't mix very well, I think. Is this a, this is not a scoreable room. What is this? This is uh, blowing up fluff and uh, making puffs. Alright, uh, here is a hub of sorts. Let's start with the left, I guess. Got a conquer token. And we got a brain. Okay. Okay, we need to uh, trick the fluff into making a path around. Okay. Yeah. Wait a second, I've been waiting- I was waiting in the wrong place. I want to wait around here. One seventy seven. Not bad. Uh, it could have been faster. Clear. Fourteenth place. Oop. Let's not get stuck. Now I almost feel like there. Well, no, there's a secret room up there. How would I get back? I don't think the secret is in this room. Start from here. As unknowable as the thing in the pit seems to try, intentional or not, to be, the Ironk is anything but, but in a strange, paradoxical way. The very soul soil around it seems to repel variation. Science advances rapidly, precision is measured at impossible levels. Beings of pure order and chaos. That's what we're dealing with here. Now I wonder what the deal is with uh, that piece of fluff down there.
Seventy. There we go. 115. Is slower than it could have been. Huh. Oh wait, that's because uh Yeah, what turn was it when I stepped on the thing? It's a fourth place tie. And I stepped on it on turn 70. Okay. So not bad actually. But yeah, that uh <laughs> Wait a second, uh, maybe I need the blue door. Ice! Wasn't actually, uh, that didn't actually take for it. Oh! First place tie!
134. Uh, wow, that was way slower than it could have been. There is some trickery going on in that uh, first place solution. I want to see it. Also, I was slower than before. Alright, Jeff. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that checks out, actually. Wow. That was pretty sweet, actually. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the fluff does get released whether or not, uh, B-Throw is visible. Seems like a thing that, uh, was worth confirming. Is that a problem? Thirty-two. Eh, not that far off, if I can get out of here now. I can't get out of here.
There we go. Seventh place tie for a turn 231 victory. All right, let's look for that secret room. I got one place that uh, comes to mind, and it's up here. There's also that staircase, but I want to see what's here first. Secret room with the second RCS stamp. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh ho ho! Looking for my diamond doily? No, no. not at all. Well, you won't find it. Okay. There are some really odd people in this place. There are some really odd people in this place. House in the forest. We are not going to the house in the forest. We are going back to the uh, room hub. What a Authorization, please. Oh wait, that was an RCS stamp, not a uh, not a rooted hub pass. My dear. Oops. My dear, what is the... Okay, if that wasn't a pass for the rooted hub... Authorization, please. Then, uh, I, I am just a fool. Okay, well, uh, time to engage biology like a fool.
Okay, back to um, back to adventure. <laughs> the house in the forest. You know what this fancy stick you gave me needs? A sharp, pointy end to do the stabbings with. Extra good. You mean well? It is me with the pointy stick. Me. Who cares about that stupid good well rule? Now I can just stab people who disagree. Stab them good. You have a point, First Watcher. Point, huh? But if you want your journals to be taken seriously... Oh, that's stupid. I'm tired of writing and my hand cramps up. I'm also tired of watching. My eyes cramp up, too. I want to go out and find new vat thingies and press buttons like before. And now... I have this new stabby thing to spearhead my efforts. Wait, your people knew the word spear? Yeah, whatever. I'm out of here. I got neat stuff to do. <laughs> First Watcher uh, sure sounds like a character. Of course, we knew that uh, from playing Master Locks. 120 days until the turning. No secrets here, just spear. A spear. Not my weapon of choice, but I can stab things with forward thrusts and push things about from side to side. I'll need to handle monsters carefully. Of course, uh, poking a mirror in the front is still gonna break it, so, you know, watch yourself. Stabbo. A truce, my master wouldn't need to kill all the monsters. Lady, what do you expect me to do? Teleport through the green door? Oh, right. <laughs> First critic was wrong. Er, 149th critic, not first critic. Man, I forgot how often she shows up. Out of my way! I have a spear! Uh, okay. Can't do anything about that door up there. <laughs> There is somebody. Who are you? Ebby. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Clear the way. I'm coming through. Okay. Well, I was gonna let you step around me, but... Hey, I went past the door. To steal my diamond doily? I think not. What? Close the door so I can get by. You're a little pushy. Close it, close it, close it. 
You'll never take my diamond doily. I don't even know what that is. It's the most precious treasure in the world, and you can't have it. Okay, well, that sure happened. So, what happens if... Let me just clear the way. Oh, ho, ho! Clear the way. I'm coming through. I don't know what you expect, Abby. You expect the thing I did first, I guess. Oh, ho, ho! Clear the way. I'm coming through. I went past the door. To steal my diamond doily? I think not. What? Close the door so I can get Yeah, by. really. You're really. a little pushy. Close it, close it, close it. You'll never take my diamond doily. I don't even know what that is. It's the most precious treasure in the world, and you can't have it. I mean, you never know. It could be a doily made of diamonds. Or a diamond shaped like a doily. Actually, I guess those two are the same thing. Oh, ho, ho! You'll never catch me. Not trying to. To Nodden, Ebby's summer home. Oh ho ho! You'll never catch me. Not trying to. Oh ho ho! You thought I'd be over there, but I'm over here instead. <sighs> Within a few leagues of Sun Island, civilizations built technologies of monumental importance, laying the foundation of every branch of science we employ today with seeming effortlessness. We have no true explanation why, other than proximity. Thank you. 
I see uh, I see what's probably a challenge scroll. Let's see if we can pull this off without the spear. Okay, let's just get to that scroll and see what it says first, I guess. Challenge, kill the Roach Queen before taking the spear and stepping on the Conquer token. Okay.
RBS times Q. Or RBS XQ. It's chess notation, maybe. I don't know. That was simple enough. Uh, what's my score? 36th place. Uh, of course, I did go out of my way to kill the queen, so... Yeah. Eighteen! Yep, eighteen. First place tie, an easy one. <laughs> Should uh, do this. Three hundred three. Eh, not terrible. Eleventh place tie. Forest exit. 
Evie's summer home. Time to go pay Evie a visit and steal her diamond doily. It'll rotate it 45 degrees and make it a square doily. Then it'll be a lot less valuable. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! If you want to talk about my diamond doily, go out on the lake to the safe conversation room. Wait for me there. Well, now I'm curious. Annoyed, but curious. One moment. So I'll tell you about okay. it. Hopefully, that will be enough for you and you'll stop chasing me around. I'm not chasing you around. It is the finest doily ever made, cut in the shape of a diamond. Wait, it's not made from actual diamonds? No, it's paper. What's so good about it? I just like it a lot. Oh, well, honestly, I don't want it. My ex-boyfriend gave it to me. When we broke up, he wanted it back. But you kept it. Obviously, it's a great doily. If you're so worried about losing it, then keep it a secret. I know, I know. I just have to brag, though. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, we're not getting in there. Uh, we're gonna have to leave this level without completing it. Meanwhile, elsewhere below the surface of the eighth. 114 days until the turning. Just a couple more rooms to refit and we're done here. That's good to hear. We need as many holds operational as possible. No problem there. We just need to get it upgraded to the more recent systems. Ground here seems a bit unstable, but if we... Oh, that was a surprise. Not to worry, Architect. We'll have you out fast. Hey, it's Pit Thing. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? You two go on ahead and continue the refit. I think I need to check this out. I won't be long. But, uh, okay. If you say so, sir. Alright, what is there to see in this level? No. Nah. Okay. No secrets here. Just go.
292. Eh. Whoa. Exact same amount of time as before. Fagundo. Kill that briar root before it uh, starts to become a nuisance. Alright, let's see here. Actually, maybe we need the briar root to stay alive. do anything.
there. Five hundred three is kind of long, but eighty five. How? Okay. Uh -oh. So you just gotta play dangerously with the briars, huh? That was cool! Alright, well, uh, we've managed to find a mimic somehow. Alright, so the briar is going to weigh down... Briar is going to weigh down the uh, pressure plates. We want it to be on this one, but not on this one. Therefore, we need to use some fluff. I see a couple places where we could acquire some fluff. is fine.
Hey, I died. Hey, I died. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try this a little better. Maybe if I went around the bottom.
Here we go. That's all I wanted. <laughs> One fifty three. Not too bad. Let him interfere. Then you must interfere. Ah, you made it back. We were just finishing things off here. Good. We need to be done with this place as soon as possible. How much work is left? Just have to set up the beacon and we're done. Let's do that then. That should do. Good work. Let's move on. There's so much I have to do, and so little time left. Before I left Dugandy, I made a point to ask Bombus about the DAA. What were all those secret meetings all about? Maybe it mm -hmm. wasn't important now. But I thought maybe there'd be some clue, some hint, of what to expect. Oh, they approached us, you see. All too often, Smite Masters would stray far beyond their contracted area. We're paid to clear dungeons, Bethro, not every cavern and tunnel from here to false. They said such perimeter breaches were compromising the security of their dungeons. So, they offered to help us keep to the allotted spaces. Charts, maps, architectural plans, no more need to be lost on a contract. They construct the dungeons, and we keep them clean. In return, they just wanted some efforts made politically to make Dugandy more, well, orderly, I suppose. If it wasn't for that connecting passage in King Dugan's dungeon, I'd never have found out about the Rooted Empire and what they were up to. The DAA were trying to keep us in the dark. Perhaps, but it was a perfect working arrangement. It made so much sense. Only... What happened? It started a few months back. We were doing contract work as per usual. The maps had been such a blessing. Smite Masters were finishing in record time. But a week after a clearing of Korvax Keep, we had a report that it was completely repopulated again. It seemed like an isolated incident, but then we started receiving complaints regarding other recent Seen contracts. Them. It was unprecedented. As fast as we were clearing them, they'd be infested again. That's why it's so quiet here, you know. We're barely getting any work at all these days. Why hire a Smite Master if there's nothing to show for it once they're gone? And what did the DAA have to say about that? We haven't heard from their representative in months. We've reached out to some of the more local architects, but they couldn't, or wouldn't, tell us anything. It's all become such a terrible mess. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've still got to get to the bottom of this grand event business. Still, it's strange. This reseeding of clear dungeons. It occurs so swiftly. What could repopulate them in mere days? I didn't have an answer for Bombus. The DAA could work fast when they needed to, but they couldn't be everywhere at once. There had to be some other method they were using, and I was sure, sooner or later, I was gonna trip over it. 
And we looked to the sky and saw the forthcoming way of things. It was time by every estimation. We could see the cosmos catch its breath like a sigh, and the stars seemed almost to bulge. Soon the ground would spit us into the void like a mouthful of dirty water. The time has come for bitter things, where we get to choose which darkness awaits us, above or below. In one grand event, everything we've built will break. But this time we can take our histories with us. This is the forthcoming way of things. We will not let this happen again. We will not let ignorance defeat us. All right. Forthcoming way of things. 112 days until the turning. But first, uh, I want to make a note of where exactly that encounter was. It was two south, two west. Okay. Forthcoming way of things. This robot prepared to be turned and torn apart. Ah, I see. I guess that you're talking about the turning. I'm going to Netflix and Pharaohs to figure out what it is. Want to spare me the trip? No, you have to go. The vessel sent you, I gather. They didn't send me, sent myself. I'm a self sending kind of guy. There is a reason. Why the Empire stopped you, the vessels. You're seriously gonna make me ask? You could keep going with that thought of yours without any prodding from me. The one thing I'm obviously interested in hearing about. Yeah, that would be a normal, useful way of talking. Okay, okay, why? Why did the Empire stop using vessels? Why already? Vessels fill up. They overflow. And that means I should be worried about what real thing in the real world exactly? Do you dare drink from the vessel when it brims over? Enough with the similes. That was a metaphor, actually. Oh, we're done. This is stupid. <laughs> Do you dare drink from a vessel when it spills over? So, eventually... The Empire asked the Truth Vessels a question that they could not answer. That's why they stopped using them. Oh man, I locked myself out again. Well, sucks for that guy, I guess. You! Me! What are you doing here? I'm a rambling man. I ramble and roam and go where my happy feet take me. How about you? Well, just stay away from me. Hey, ex-first archivist. I saw your replacement a while back. I think he's probably not up to the job. Though, I still can't say I know what the job is exactly. He's a fool. The archivists are lost with him. The forthcoming way of things, though. That is what matters forthcoming way of... Oh yeah, your plan to kill off me and everybody else on the surface. Can I call it the FWAT? It's a very long name for something. When things are crucially important, it doesn't matter if you take a long time to say what they are. Can I tell you why I disagree with your plan? I know why. You don't want to die. And all the people you know, you don't want them to die. Sure, that's one reason. And a good one. But I've actually thought it through on some other levels. Oh yes then, I... Shudder with curiosity over your great ponderings. You say it's all about knowledge, and that the surfaces never create any knowledge. Right. The surfaces just 
generate a never-ending flow, a violent gush of information, noise. Which is not the same as knowledge, but why? It's either the repetition of well-understood patterns or simple randomization with no meaning behind it. Why do you say random? Things can't be random. Everything that happens, there is some cause behind it. I've seen the anomaly reports from the surface. It's all just chaos. There is no possible insight to be gained from analysis. You might as well stare into the sun. You don't know that. You just jumped ahead of the ugly part there. This is where you made a mistake. The Empire is an empire of knowledge. It is our task to- Now you're just spouting back the old feel-good words. Think about it. You can't handle thinking your work will never be done, so don't lie to yourself. You are a destroyer of knowledge. <sighs> I'm going to Nethlekemp Pharaohs. I can see you're headed there too. Yes, this is the quickest way to end it all. You sound desperate. Keep your distance from me. I have more defenses than you know. Yeah, whatever, buddy. You can keep your distance from me, too. Wow. <laughs> you got him, B-Throw. This, uh, this piece of music is called Recombinant Waltz, also by Emmett Plant. Chapter 3, Race to the Sun. So A1 got the boot because the other archivists didn't like his military shouting abouts. The archivists are all about writing things down in books, and A1's violent stuff didn't fit their style. I took care of the slaves, which made him a lot less scary and easier to kick out of the club. Do you dare drink from the vessel when it brims over? Oh right, that's what you said before. Kinda like an almost useful warning. On those occasions when I say something twice, you would do well to give it weight. Hey, you blacky blinky freak. You were the one that said to get the vessels and use them in the first place. And that seemed to be a good thing to do. A solid, help out beef throw kind of thing. And now you say, in so many words, don't use the vessels. Or don't use them too much. Or don't use them without a napkin tucked in first. Or something. You're not very clear, are you? But you know what? I'm not going to be the stubborn guy this time. I could ask this vessel to go figure out something really important for me. But you said some bad thing might happen. And maybe something bad would happen. So I can wait on asking another question. Now, in the meantime, Maybe you can think on the best way to get your thoughts across. A thousand of my hearts die individual deaths each moment I speak to you. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. I learned a new language to make myself clear. Spent a good while on that. So why can't you get it together? And Vessel, no questions for now. But let's keep in touch. Uh, nonce felt wonsled, I mean. Take them some all. <laughs> Be throw. I mean, when you're a being of pure chaos, uh, it kind of stands to reason. Uh, you would not want to deal with Bethro, who just wants a straight answer all the time. It's not the way Pit Thing does things. <laughs> it 
In fact, science was so easy that terrible, dangerous fields were advanced with precarious consequences. The curve of space-time itself was likely harnessed and abused. It's no wonder, it's no real wonder most of the ancient artifacts we find are walled up or burned. hard way sure let's do it. let's do it why doesn't water flow uphill has a much more poetic response than any rigorous discussion of the nature of attraction and mass for every path through existence there is a diametrically opposed path that is decidedly harder or easier and accomplishes opposite goals the nature of the universe <clears throat> is to humble without care to be lazy to fall into disarray Simplicity. Uniformity. Water flows downhill because it's easier. But we are not water. To feel purpose and place, sometimes we need to travel upstream. Excerpt from An Insight into Architecture, Volume 3. 108 days until the turning. As you move away from Sun Island, the natural occurrence of noise in the experimental process is more normally distributed. In fact, the increase of this variance follows a loosely logarithmic function of distance from Sun Island. What could this mean? No secrets here. Let's just go. Now we have red doors. And we need to clear them all. And we also need to get this, uh, this guard stuck somehow. Hey, keep off the grass. Yeah, yeah, I know. One hundred six. I lost time on that one. Oh well. Hmm. 
Now I have a little adder over there. We really just need to kill all of the adders. Like so. It's got to be close to first place, right? One turn off somehow. It is. I dig it. Okay, so we have a speed potion here now. Thank <laughs> you. 
right? This... Actually, hang on. No, how would I get around? That can't be it. But if it's not it, then... There we go. Still need to hit that token. Place a golem here. Wait, is it a timer puzzle? Thank you. 
That's a problem. need something to uh yeah pretty sure i need a rock pile to be there This fountain has to be here for a reason. There we go. 160. That was bad. That was really bad. But we won.
Seeding grounds. This is a big level, so, uh, yeah. We're gonna end things off here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I think... Yeah, Russ isn't around. Well, if Russ isn't around, uh, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do some demon crawl or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But uh, you know, one more, one more biology for the road. Or one more water, rather. It's Danforth Strout. He thought about giving you these. Instead, we're getting those. Draw the movie, the game, in space. A 3D text adventure. <laughs> Hundreds of puzzles you've never seen anywhere else, ushering in a new way of life. You might say it's the forthcoming way of things. All right, time for me to go get some water. Uh, you know what? This might be a bio, too. Alright. So, while the Drod stream is still going, and so we can have a, a, a good and speedy start to the Demon Cross stream, I need to check something real quick. Now, if my th now if the uh, my cloud saves are synchronizing correctly, then <clears throat> okay. What is this doing? Well, it's trying to synchronize the cloud save.
seriously, what is this doing? Oh, uh, Drod is struggling to, uh, upload its cloud save to, oh man. There we go. Okay. All right. Am I Prestige 3? No. All right. I need to freaking manually copy my save file over again. Uh, where's that USB port? USB port. USB uh, flash drive. so stupid guys <laughs> it's a really good game but uh, for whatever reason the uh, cloud saves aren't working quite right There, okay. Changing the stream now.